What's going on guys, Cisco here, back with some VGC Double Battles, and today we've got a team based on different rock formations. You've got Colossal that is based on a barrel of coal, Garganko that demonstrates the different layers of sedimentary rocks, you've got Probo Pass that is based on the Maui statues in the Easter Islands, you've got Stone Journer that is based on a Stonehenge, Carbink who is believed to be based on the mythical creature called Carbuncle who has just gemstones gemstones growing out of its body and finally Glamora who is made of terra crystals I believe based off this gen um not feeling too confident about this team if we're gonna be honest but we'll see what we can do with this team they're all really bulky but have several quad weaknesses like our um probe pass quad weak to ground colossal quad weak to water carbink quad weak to steel and glamoro quad weak to ground as well um but you got Garganko, Probopass, and Carbink as our supporters, and then the other three as our main attackers. Um, the Colossal is like the star of the show in this um in this team. It runs a similar moveset as in the team composed with Bruxish, but we have a different way of activating its steam engine. And the plan to do so is using Probopass with Fire Punch. And at the same time, this also benefits us because if we Terra into Grass with Colossal, this will also activate our weakness policy. But that's only in this scenario if we're not going to be setting up Trick Room with Carbink. So yeah, not sure how I feel about this team, but it looks fun. And we're going to have some fun with it. We're going to see if we can get some dubs. So yeah, but guys, if you find yourself enjoying this video, please feel free to leave a like down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. I put a lot of time and effort into these teams that I built myself. I shiny hunt them, EV train them give them the right terror type and the right movesets. So yeah, it takes a while to make these teams, so I'd really appreciate some support down below. And just a quick little thing, I wanna say a huge thank you to all of you guys for 100 subscribers. It means a lot to me that every single one of you, you know, subscribe and, you know, take some time with your comments and watching the videos. I really, I really appreciate it, it means a lot to me. But now, let's get rolling with this, with these different rock formations and try to get some dubs. All right, we got a battle against Uzi. Interesting. So they benefit from Turk from here. But so could I. So could I. Who do we want to lead here with? <clears throat> Is there a way of stopping their Turk from? Not really. I don't think we can stop their trick room. I think our best bet is going into carving and setting up a light screen. And then alongside him. I think we'll go Colossal. Bring in Garganko in the back. And last but not least, you know, maybe I like Glamour in the beginning. Yeah, Glamour and then Garganko and Colossal at the back. Maybe, maybe Glamour just applies more pressure. But we'll see. I'm not sure what they lead off with here. So if I'd have to guess, protect and and they set up their trick room probably. So to that, I say screw your trick room and. Let me start chipping you down. Yeah, protect, trick room, and I'm gonna trick with myself. This way, I outspeed all of them. And then we poison the sinister, so that's gonna help chip it down a lot. Because that thing can be tanky sometimes. Yep. Your trick room? Guess what I did? Guess what I did? I tricked him as well. So we're back to normal. Okay. So he probably switches out the Torko now if I had if I had to guess. 
Um, so I'm gonna set up rocks. And then, who could he swap in with? He could bring Iron Hands. He probably has Iron Hands in the back. So I might just Mortal Spin again. Or do I... Do I Mortal Spin again? Or do I just... Power Gem that slot? I think I'm gonna go for the Power Gem. Just try to get some damage off. He Terra's actually. So good thing I didn't go for... Oh, Fire, okay. But this shouldn't do much. Oh, he has Rage Powder, doesn't he? Oh no, he didn't Rage Powder. Nice. This did leads to Torkoal, let's go. Oh, crit. I, yeah, I think we needed that crit. I think that was important. I think it would have survived. <laughs> Nice, so we got some Twister Terra. And what's Sinister going for? Matcha gotcha. Matcha gotcha. Oh my goodness. Jesus. I did a lot to my carbon. We get some nice little rocks up. Alright, we're looking good here. We're looking good here. We're looking solid. Now... Do I bother? Does he try setting up Trick'em again? That's the real question. And what is he doing with Crawdon? I could see him trying to go for Trick'em again. But does he protect his Crawdon? That's the real question. I don't... I don't think so. Ah, Rage Fodders. So he's looking to get rid of my Glimora here. So this is a... useless turn. Oh, it's Swords Dance. So you got greedy a bit. He got a big greedy. So actually, what I'm going to do is... I don't need light screen anymore. I'm just going to go for a Moonblast. Yeah, Moonblast into the status show because they're probably... Rage Powder and now Spiky Shoot. I know you're going after Glamour, bro. Just Rage Powder. Oh, Aqua Jet. Oh, he's really looking to get rid of me. Now, do I Terra here? I could Terra. Because then I become Grass and I ignore the Rage Powder. Yeah, that's a play. That's a play. That 100% is the play. Oh. Sinister gets a good amount of HP back from that. It's not fair. And I get burned, bro. Chill. Alright, Moonblast. Chips up a little bit. Poison chips up a little bit more. And then I think my Carbink goes down here. Oh no, he survives. Yo, Carbink. Shit. Damn, Carbink. Killing it out here. So I'm gonna just go f into a Moonblast and just Energy Ball, right? There's nothing he can do. And then by terrestrializing, I I should be able to survive a plus two Aqua Jet from the Crawdon. I'd hope at least. There's the Aqua Jet. Yeah, we survive easy. And we get spikes up. So whoever comes in after is going to get poisoned too. Time is ticking. And I have some good stall in the back. And there's the energy ball. Gonna get rid of the Crawdon easily. Boom. Bada beam, bada boom. Have a nice time. And the carving is in a. Oh no. We'll finish it off first. Yo, why did I do so much to my Glamora? It's not very effective. 
This thing just does not want to leave the field. Carbon got his job done. I'm not gonna lie. Carbon did well there. And then now... Do I want to come in with... Colossal or Gargankle? I'll do Colossal. <clears throat> this way I can stall a little bit more. Just in case I... Oh, it's Clefairy. This should be a quit. <laughs> Stones. Gets poisoned. I just throw a bunch of stuff on their side. <laughs> um, I'm going to go into a Heat Crash. Into you. And then just go for... Power gem into the Sinistra. That should be the game. Oh, battle was canceled. Perfect. Hey, rock formations got a dub. I'll take it. All right. Luna. Luna has Pokemon I don't like. That my rocks don't like to see. That Urshifu is coming. Do I bother setting up Trick Room? Do you think they bring that Sinistra in the back? I'm not sure what I want to do here. You're 42 speed. What's your speed? 37. So technically, Provo Pass would go first. Do I try it? I'm gonna try my my strat. The fire punch into pebbles. Activate steam engine and then get ripping from there. I think I'm gonna try it. And then in the back, maybe Gargankle and Glamora. Let's try that out. Let's try that out. But I think that means I'd commit Terra first turn, which I don't love to do. I really don't love that. Listen, I'm just hoping to put up a good match and not just get swept. Yep, turn out as her. Huh. So Trick Room would have been the smart play to do. If I had to guess, he goes after... Colossal, right? If I had to guess, he goes after Colossal. Do I just Earthquake? No, I'm a Rock Slide. I'm a Rock Slide. He's gonna tear it too. The airship into water, just do more damage. Please, 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 please. Oh, actually. I think he probably went bleak when storm. I need a miss here. I need a miss bad. If he went into bleak when storm. Oh, no, he went for Tailwind. Okay. Why would you... See, I don't understand that. Why are you going to go for Tailwind if both of my mods are base, like, two speed? Nice. He went into Colossal. Perfect. And Steam Engine activates with him. Oh, sh... Wait. How much damage is my... Oh, but then my, with the Fire Punch... With Fire Punch, I activate Weakness Policy now. How much are you doing though? Oh, perfect. Okay, didn't do much. Perfect. Okay, we got it to work. We got it to work. First turn. So now we have Weakness Policy and we have Steam Engine active. So let's just look at his stats. Plus 6 speed and plus 2 in attack. Do I outspeed here?
I better outspeed. I don't outspeed? Oh my goodness. How? How do I not out outspeed? I'm plus six. I don't. Uh, it's because it's Tailwind then. That's so frustrating. Though. I should. I should be outspeeding easily. Well, we're screwed. We are screwed. I mean, I'll try, but I don't think anything's gonna happen here. Salt here into you, and then energy ball into Zhu. Dude, how how am I being outsped there? I don't understand that. Why are you withdrawing? Of course. Into who? Are you? Jesus Christ. It's a two tap. This is pain. Hey, at least we got rid of the Urshfu. I'll take that. against steel hmm I see them leading like iron hands and gold dangle to be honest so I'm gonna go Gargi and I'll go colossal And then in the back, I'm going to bring in Stone Journer alongside maybe Glimora. No, maybe Probo Pass. Yeah, I like Probo Pass more. It's good of a it's good of a switch in. I can hopefully switch momentum with Probo Pass. What do they got? Well, then go and do that. Huh. I can wide guard here. Wide guard Terra. Maybe rock slide. I think I like that. He switches out instead. Into Iron Hands. I'm hoping he goes into Hydro Pump into my Colossal. Please. Please go into a Hydro Pump into my Colossal. If you do, then I get Steam Engine off. Oh, it's going to be perfect. I actually need my Colossal for this game. Icy Wind. So it's fine. We, we, we at least don't take any damage right now. For this turn, at least. 
we'll see what happens next turn. Alright, rock side comes off. How much damage is there? Not much. Well, not enough. Not enough. Um. Uh, da -da -da. Okay, so now I go protect and I'm gonna just earthquake. I think he probably freeze dries, but I should be able to survive. Okay, I eat it. Please don't double down into my Colossal. Please go after my Gargankle with Iron Hands. Come on. Nice. Okay. Okay. So a huge Earthquake's gonna come out here. Plus two Earthquake. This should get rid of the Deli Bird. I mean the Iron Bundle and then at least do half to the Iron Hands. It doesn't even get rid of the... Oh my god. Is this a bulky thing? I'm certain this thing is a bulky. This has to be a bulky iron bundle. There's no way it's surviving that much. A plus two earthquake? Get out of here. Alright, we protect the freeze dry. That was pretty simple. And then we should survive a heavy slam. Yeah, easy. I don't know why it's not going for a drain punch. Alright, this gets rid of the little iron bundle finally now if it's gold dango I might do wide guard again it is the gold dango and I think I will wide guard right Nah, he probably just Shadow Balls. Why, like, what's stopping him from Shadow Balling? No, I'm gonna Wide Guard. I'm gonna Wide Guard. I think it's a safer play. And I'm gonna Heat Crash into the... Gold Dengo. Please be doing Make It Rain. Please. It plots. So who's... Ah, uh, I survive on 5 HP, Colossal. You are a beast, Colossal. You are a beast. Heat Crash is going to eliminate this thing. Perfect. Let's go, Colossal. Surviving a freeze dry and a drain punch. So now. What do I want to do now? It's a 4v2. I, can't, I should not choke this. I should not choke this. Amoongus. A little Amoongus. Stone Journer. Uh, I don't know. It looks tough. Back end looks tough, tough, tough. This game is far from over. Does he Rage Powder here? I knew it. I outspeed though, right? That's why I didn't protect anyone, because I knew he was going... He Pollen Puffs. Okay. So I could have cured the Iron Hands. I need to get a uh, salt cube before. <laughs> Colossal one shotting Amoongus. 
Okay, now I'm gonna just go for Protect and Earthquake. Just to... Actually, no. I'm gonna go Salt Cure and Earthquake. Because one of them is dying out here. Not both of them. Oh, he has Terra still. Oh, this isn't pretty. Water. <gasps> oh, this makes you weak to Salt Cure. It's gonna do a quarter instead of an eighth. No, he goes off the Gargank. Okay. That's fine. This should do a good chunk of damage. Single target now. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Now... Hey. Stone Jurner. You got it or no? Like, damn, hope you do. I need you to pull up over here. I really need Sojourner to do some big damage right now with this low kick. Like, I'm talking huge damage. That's not, that's not enough. It's not enough. But we survived. We survived a Drain Punch. Okay. Ah, uh, this is going to be tough. Oh, beautiful. Colossal with the damage. Let's go, Colossal. Stone Jr. finishes off with low kick. Beautiful game, boys. My rock formation team just beat a pretty meta team. You love to see it. GG's. All right, we got a battle against Levon. Levon, Levon, Levon. <clears throat> Does he start off with Rillaboom and Sneezler? Um, probably. I think he. I think he thinks. He thinks it's a strong start for him. So he thinks. So I'm actually gonna lead off Gargankle. With Colossal. I think that's a solid start. And then maybe Stone Journer with Glamore. Yeah. We need some we need some damage out here. We need some big time damage. Hopefully we can get one more dub. Yep, we're the boom So... Do we think that Sneezer goes for... Gargank or Colossal? I wanted to protect. I'm gonna double protect. Because he's probably gonna fake me out. And then go for his close combat. The only unfortunate thing about this is that now. Oh. Double fake out? Question mark? Oh no, I horse power. Into interesting, interesting. I'm going to come in with Glamora here and Terra Heat Crush. I think I'm going to do that, yeah. Because regardless, he gets a hit off on Glamora, which allows my spikes to go up. And I'm Sash, so I'm safe. 
I know I get another turn off here. Alright, Colossal, show me the damage. Show me the damage output. That's perfect. Gets Toxic Spikes out. And then get the same move high earth power, which we take comfortably. How much is he crash doing here? Mm, not enough. Not enough. Not enough. So if I had to guess, it's the same move? Except he might want to U-turn out, so I'm just going to protect the Colossal. He might go U-turn and then Brick Break again into... Into the Glamora. Oh no, Dire Claw. Oh, so that means he goes high horsepower into... Oh no, he doubles the Colossal actually. Interesting. So huge protect there from us. Now the only issue is that... We might die out here. We very well might. What do I go for here? Do I go for... Um... Because I, I don't think... Colossal dies to a Dark Claw. I just don't think he does. On the contrary, I think he activates my weakness policy, which allows me to do this. He withdraws Rillaboom. Actually, that's perfect. So I think he is going to... to Dark Claw. Oh, and he can't get his flame roll off. Perfect. Awesome. Oh, acrobatics. Wait, what? Why didn't you just go Dire Claw? You just activated my weakness policy. Thank you, bro. All right. This is not going to do much. How much is the heat crash doing here? Plus two. Beautiful. One shot to sneeze there. The next Pokemon that comes in, you might get poisoned. Just letting you know. Crest is a live Pokemon, so it's not going to get poisoned, unfortunately. But... Mm, I'm gonna just energy ball the Ursaluna, I think, and then at the same time go for He Crash won't do much. He Crash isn't gonna do enough. But I'm gonna go for it. How much is energy ball doing here? It's one shots, right? No. And now you Lunar Blessings, right? Yeah, of course. Come on, man. It leaves it on like 3 HP there. Yikes. Well, he sets up another set of Toxic Spikes now. So it's not the worst thing. He Crash could possibly kill, I think. I think he crashed plus the toxic. Okay, let's... <clears throat> oh yeah, no, yeah. What, what am I? I'm bugging. Oh, here's stressing. All right, beautiful. So now it's just Rillaboom and Cresselia. Let's, let's get Soul Journey out here. Why not?
Does does he get more toxic because of the spikes or no? Who knows? We're gonna do earthquake. I mean rock slide. Double rock slide. Yeah, double rock slide. I think that's the play. Who's terrestrializing? Really into what? Oh, just grass. So I was gonna go grass guy into stone journey. You know, one shot it. Imagine how he survives this. Oh my god, Stone Journey, you are bulky. <clears throat> oh, so he gets rid of the poison. Which is pretty good for him. How much is Double Rock Slide doing here? It, I think that KO's the real boom. Beautiful. Too much. My stones are too much for you, bro. You can't handle my rocks. Stone Journey was a big survivor. That's a stab, Terra stab in grassy terrain, grassy glide, and we still survived. Kind of nuts. So just double rock side here for the win. <laughs> he missed Ice Dude, anyways. Jesus. There's a one, and there's a two. GG's. Good game. Well, there it is, guys. My rock formation team is complete. To be honest, it's not a good team. It lacks coverage. It's weak to the same typings, such as water, grass, ground, which, funny enough, we saw a lot of but we managed to get through it. But overall, we got three dubs out of six games. We did six games. I did six games. Three wins, three losses. I'm going to showcase the three wins and then one of the losses. Trust me, they were just quick losses. Like, just swept by the same, the first two Pokemon they brought out. <laughs> but hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please feel free to leave a like down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel. I really appreciate it. But till then, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.